Hello everybody, my name is Elena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing the first book haul on this channel. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. Are you applauding? I hope you're applauding. I'm very excited. As you can see, my bookshelf is a bit bare right now because I've taken out so many fucking books that I need to talk about. These are books I've accumulated since like right at the end of April and in May because there was a book fair. If you didn't see that, there is a vlog up on my channel. I'll put a link somewhere. I bought a lot of books, okay? I went berserk, okay? There was no stopping me. I was waiting for that book fair since March. So we're gonna start with the book fair books because I've already talked about them in my vlog. Again, I'll link it, you can watch it. So we're just gonna quickly go through them. First one that I got was Shadow and Bone. This edition, they usually don't have. It's like the matte one and only like the deer is shiny. Um, they didn't have this and I don't own a copy of Shadow and Bone like this. I only have the um, special edition. So this now matches um, my other two books in the series. From Manga, I bought um, volume zero of JJK. Already read this, already love it. It's like one of my favorite volumes in the whole manga. And I bought volume... Yeah, I did buy volume 45, but I'm missing one. Hold on. Uh, I bought volume 45 and uh, volume one, which are matching. <laughs> this is a volleyball um, manga. There's also an anime and JJK is... JJK is more like fantasy um, and it also has an anime. The second season is coming out in July, I'm pretty sure. As for like contemporary romance, I had to get one. I got The Kiss Quotient. I already read it. Um, it is very annotated, very tabbed. I adored this book, 4.75 stars. It's so good. It has autism rep. I love it. It's the writing was really like nice and I have never shipped like a couple... The writing is really nice. I've never shipped a couple faster than this. It's it's so good. Go read it. Um, this was the Holy Grail. Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. It was amazing. Loved it. Um, loved it. I haven't read it yet. Oh my god. I loved that I found it. Um, yeah, this was amazing. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. It's ginormous, but I love giant um, Cassandra Clare books, so... This was great. <laughs> the last big thing that I got was um, the Folk of the Air series. I've been wanting to read it. My friend has been raving about it. So I just went ahead and bought the box set. I was like, even if I don't enjoy like the first one, for example, and don't want to continue reading the other ones, they're going to look beautiful on my shelf. Those are the book fair books. That's all we're going to talk about these ones. And we're going to move on to the other huge pile of books that I have next to me. Um, can I stack these? You can't see them yet. I will try stacking them so you can see them at some point. New edition, another big, big addition to my book collection is the Percy Jackson box set. Okay, I originally wanted the other covers, okay? I didn't want these covers. I wanted the really pretty ones, like the ones that match up when you put them all together. We don't have those. We only have the fourth, fifth, and sixth one of those. The fourth, fifth, and sixth one of those. But not the first and second. I don't want to order the first and second from anywhere else because these books go for so cheap in my country. It's like ridiculous. So I just got this box set. I was like, at least they all match and it's fine. I don't care. I don't mind these covers. My friend started reading them recently and she really likes them. So I'm very excited. Um, let's take them out and I'll show you all of them. Uh, first one is The Lightning Thief. The second one is The Sea of Monsters. Ooh. Third one is the Titan's Curse. Um, the fourth one is the Battle of the Labyrinth. And the last one is Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. There we go. Lovely, beautiful. Can't wait to read them. I'll probably read them during the summer because they're like kind of middle grade. So they're really easy to read. They're really funny um, or so I've heard. And I'm very excited to just binge them. Yeah, see, you can slowly see them. Next series that I've started, The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter. I have The Raven Boys, um, The Dream Thieves, which is the second one, and Blue Lily Lily Blue, which is the third one. This one I read, I gave five stars. It's my most annotated and tabbed book that I own besides Damage Like Us. Like, I don't think anyone's beating that. Like, like you look at that book and you see that it's well-loved. 
um i adored this book um i loved so many things about it um i just had a, a blast reading it so i immediately picked up the second one and i did start this one um i'm i've read this much and then i had to stop because of exams and suddenly i'm not in the mood for this book which breaks my heart but i would rather read it when i'm in the mood so i can give it like the best shot to impress me and that's probably going to be after i come back from holiday which is okay or maybe i'll read it like before we go maybe i'll just get the random urge to read it because exams are slowing down now i only have one left so maybe i will be able to read this um and then obviously the third one i haven't read but like it's gorgeous i love the spine on this one it's so pretty um these are kind of i don't really know how to explain them they're like fantasy but they're urban fantasy they're kind of magical realism i guess it's about witches and um friendships and magic and going on this epic adventure with this like group of people and i highly highly recommend even though i've already only read the first one i would recommend reading this series it's such a fun read um and it's also kind of heartbreaking if you want to be depressed for a little while go ahead and pick them up my current read because i said i wasn't in the mood for the dream thieves i am in the mood for contemporary romance so i'm reading tessa bailey's too hot to handle um i read this much basically as much as <laughs> the dream thieves but i'm definitely continuing this today um i'm on page 20. i really like it so far tessa bailey's writing is always really easy and really fun to read i adore um it happened one summer and i've read i think two other books by her which i liked decently um i just really love her writing it's so easy to read and so engaging and funny and it's just fun it's always fun to read her books um, this one is basically like uh, four siblings, their mom dies and she leaves a letter. Basically, they have like her only wish, her dying wish is that they have to jump in this lake on New Year's. It's like freezing, but they have to jump in it because she did it once. And that's how she like discovered herself and stuff like that. And she wants that for her children. And they're not really that close. So they decide to go on this road trip and they're like, okay, let's just do this one thing mom wanted for us and then i'm pretty sure their car breaks down i haven't gotten to that part yet um but i'm pretty sure their car breaks down and the guy is called jasper the girl uh, is called rita and i guess like she stays over at his house or something or they all do it's like a small town romance um that's all i know basically he rescues them and they go from there i'm very excited this is really good so far and it's really not that big so i'm gonna fly through it i'm very excited this is starting to be debilitating at this point but it's fine um speaking of romance what the koi oh my god my new obsession okay this is the first volume look at it it's so pretty it's so pretty i love it i love the pastels basically it's called what the koi love is hard for otaku um basically it's about these people who are really geeky and they're basically otakus like they love anime they love manga they love rpg and video games and stuff like that so it's really hard for them to like find love because people usually make fun of them and they work at the same place it's like four people and then other characters get introduced and they create this like friend group and then they start dating um like within the friend group like two people will pair up and date and stuff like that and it's so fun and it's so wholesome it gives me all of the found family vibes this is volume one it's the special edition so it includes um volume one and two of the regular manga that's why it's like kind of bigger and thicker and also um, double the price of regular manga but it's fine because i get two so it makes sense um and then this is the second one this is volume two which includes three and four haven't read this yet because i'm going on vacation on june 3rd and i am probably going to be reading this at the beach because i like annotating these kinds of books and i don't want to bring a whole annotation kit to the beach i mean i might at some point but this is so much easier to read because i don't annotate it like i just literally have to carry the book with me and that's it i have been looking to get this book for so freaking long I, you don't know how many times i've picked it up looked at it put it back picked it up looked at it put it back and i finally got it i was like elena just do it oh my god just do it please so i did i bought caraval by stephanie garber it's this cover i prefer the other ones but the, these were the ones that they had at my bookstore 
I actually think they're quite cute. Um, this is uh, kind of, well, it is young adult fantasy, but it has like magic and it, it includes a circus and it's a trilogy. I think it goes uh, Caraval, uh, Legendary and Finale. And I'm pretty sure uh, this book follows one couple. The second book follows a different couple. I think it's her sister and her love interest. And then the third one includes all of them. I'm very excited to read this. My friend read this one and she really liked it. Um, yeah, oh, look at that. That's fun. Yeah, I'm very excited to read this. I will definitely be reading it um, after I come back from holiday though there's no way i'm getting to it before then um this one i don't i'm not actually even sure what it's about i only know like the basic premise of it which i like i just explained um but i'm pretty sure that uh this girl is sending letters to this circus that has something to do with her sister in order to save her sister or whatever and they're not replying and then one day they do and then she has to go to this circus and participate in some kind of event that's supposed to be harmless but ends up being a really big deal and like life-threatening i think this ne this next book is a really funny story um i have two copies of love on the brain well i had two copies um one i annotated it's mine it's right there on my shelf the other one was just like sitting over here because what the fuck am i gonna do with another copy my friend was in the same situation with a different book and we were like oh my god Let's just swap the books that are extra. And we did. So now I have um, See You Yesterday by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I've heard a lot about this author. I've heard she's really good. Um, this is a romance, but it's basically like Groundhog Day type of thing. Uh, because this girl keeps reliving the same day and then realizes that this guy has been doing it for much longer than her. And now they're conscious of it and they're doing it together. And then I guess they fall in love along the way. This sounds so fun and I cannot wait to read it. And also it's pink. It's so rare to see fucking pink covers on books. And it makes me upset because pink looks just so nice. Especially for like a contemporary romance. Like why wouldn't you use pink? Look at it. Look at how cute it is. I love it. I'm very excited to read it. Um, basically a family friend is visiting us. Um, and she bought me two books. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I love receiving books. Like, whatever kind of book it is, I'm just happy to get it. These were on my TBR because she specifically asked me, like, what books do you want to read? Um, so the first one is Fearless. Flawless. Sorry, I'm obsessed with Lesser Femme right now, um, which is a K-pop group. I uh, was just... Anyways, Flawless by Elsie Silver. Again, another pink book. It looks so good. These are the new covers, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, this one is basically about this bull rider. It's like a small town kind of cowboy vibes. Um, this bull rider basically fucks up his reputation uh, to the point where his agent is like, I'm sending my daughter over so she can handle things and keep you under control. But I think she has to live in his house. And it's like forced proximity. I'm pretty sure it's grumpy sunshine. And it's like small town, but also kind of forbidden romance because, you know, it's his agent's daughter. Um, I'm very excited to read this. I'm probably, this is probably going to be the other book that I take on holiday with me. Also, like, the the chapter pages are gorgeous. Let me just freaking find one. Look at it. it. It's like, it's so pretty. I love it. Um, I'm very excited to read this. I was tempted to get the other books in the series before I even read this one. I was like, let's not do that. Let's just calm down. <laughs> So I was like, fine, I'll wait. But yeah, this is what I'm really excited about and it's pretty far up on my like books to read. I feel like I'm playing Jenga, but with books, but I'm adding stuff instead of pulling stuff out. Anyways, the other book that she got me is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. I have talked about, well, you can't see it now, but it's, 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 he you can't see it now, but it's here. Um, The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. That's the first book in the Prison Healer trilogy. This is the second one. I've already read this one um, before I received the physical copy because I couldn't wait. And I loved it. I gave both books five stars. It is a trilogy, so I need to read the third one. But now that I had a physical copy, I just passed on my annotations onto this book. I love it. I had blocked out how this book ends because it's literally fucking traumatizing. 
the plot twists in this series are insane. Basically, the prison healer is about this girl who's in a prison and get this, she's the healer, guys. I know, shocking. Um, and then she's basically trying to get out of the prison and she's just kind of trying to survive and then people start arriving and then she gets these like coded messages from her family from outside. Um, they have the, like their own code and stuff like that. And basically it means like, uh, keep her alive, we're coming. What that means is, um, her, the keep her alive is basically this woman that enters the prison because she leads, uh, like this group of rebels. Um, and they've somehow captured her and taking her to prison and they're literally going to kill her uh, because she's trying to like take the crown or whatever. And basically her job is to take care of this woman because her family said so and because they're coming and they're going to rescue her. And then other people start arriving and then starts stuff getting complicated. And it's this whole big thing, but it's found family. It's young adult fantasy. It's amazing characters. It's amazing writing. The plot twists are ginormous, incredible, spectacular, never before seen, totally unique. I've heard people say that it has like, um, like the, the plot twists are as good as like the plot twists in Red Queen. I've never read that series, so I can't tell you anything about it. I can't tell you if that's true or not. That's what I've heard. And I highly recommend you read it because it's so underrated. I, oh my god, it's amazing. And my favorite character gets introduced in this book, so... This book was not going to make it into this video, but it arrived yesterday at the ass crack of fucking dawn at my doorstep. And by ass crack of fucking dawn, I mean 9.30. It was just like, someone was buzzing my doorbell and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you here so early? And they were like, back it's from America. And I was like, it arrived at my doorstep? I ordered this book in March and I ordered it from America, from Barnes and Noble, only because these covers are going out of print and I don't like the new covers. And listen, I had a whole plan. I was going to collect the covers slowly, okay? Because the new covers were supposed to come out in July. I was like, I have so much time. The new covers came out in May. So suddenly these new, the, like the old covers that I wanted to own were going out of print and I could not find this third book anywhere. And now I finally have it. It's the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is my favorite. This is all in. It's the third book in the series. There's four of them in total and then a novella. This is my favorite one and I thought that I wouldn't be able to find it. Barnes & Noble had it and I paid more for the shipping than the actual book itself. Doesn't matter. I own it. I'm happy about it. I already passed my annotations onto it. Basically, uh, it's Criminal Minds but YA. Um, basically, this girl called Cassie gets recruited into this FBI program for young gifted children like her, children, <laughs> like people, um, that have like abilities. They're not supernatural abilities, uh, but she's a profiler and so is another character uh, called Dean. And then we have Michael, who is um, an emotions reader. And then we have Leah, who's um, a, like a human lie detector and can lie really well. So they're supposed to help out on cold cases, but stuff starts happening and they start working on live cases and then shit gets complicated and each book has like its own plot, but it's an overarching one. So like it, it all connects into um, the final book where it just all culminates. It's literally so good. If Jennifer Lynn Barnes wrote um, The Inheritance Games, I personally prefer this series, even though I didn't give all of the books in this series five stars, but I gave all of the Inheritance games five stars. I just really connected with these characters. It's amazing. Please go read it. And like I said, they have new covers. If you don't like like these ones, they have new ones. But I really wanted these ones uh, because I read them with these covers. So I associate these covers with those memories. And it's just it's how my brain works. I really wanted these ones. And I have them. And I'm very happy about it. Please go read it. If you take anything away from this video, read this series. It's so good. It's like found family as well with a romance subplot. And it's, it is a love triangle, but Jennifer Lynn Barnes' love triangles are always so good. Like, you don't have to worry about it. And miraculously, we have come to the end of this video. 
thank you so much for watching. I don't know when the next video is going to be because I'm going on holiday and I don't know if I'm going to have time to film another video and stuff like that. But regardless, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you like and comment and subscribe if you would like to do that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.